guys let's start <laughs> so first i'm gonna go in with my hourglass mattifying primer if you haven't tried this stuff get a sample and try it you'll love it and then i'm gonna spray my face with these slick setting spray and layering this stuff throughout your foundation routine will lengthen the wear of your foundation so try it totally works then i'm gonna go in with kat von d's um, tattoo foundation in medium 57 as you can see my face is darker than my neck <laughs> so i'm just using the makeup geek buffing brush to buff this all over my skin and uh, yeah taking my time doing that just speeding through this because i'm sure you guys have seen this before so take your time putting this on and get it into your hairline so it doesn't look all weird <laughs> then putting concealer here and here and here and here 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 um uncover my blemishes i'm using nc42 this stuff is amazing it totally lasts forever and not forever but like it lasts a really long time and just stippling that out with the real techniques complexion sponge i think it's called this uh sponge i think i put it yeah i put it in my top 10 drugstore favorites video anyway i'll link that video down below if you're interested in watching it please feel free to And I'm gonna be using an eyeshadow what? to set my under eye concealer and this is from Makeup Forever in the shade M51. I love this stuff because it's really pigmented and it, um, it blends out really well and it doesn't crease which is amazing because I have little wrinkles underneath my eyes and now I'm going in with Anastasia's dip brow in dark brown. If you guys are interested in seeing how I do my brows in a more like in in depth tutorial, then I will link that video down below. Uh, but yeah, soon I'm just gonna be speeding through this because I do take my time doing my eyebrows. I'm just setting my eyebrows with the Milani Clear Brow Gel and I do brush the first third of my eyebrows up and these last two thirds sideways so I'll kind of blend it in so it doesn't look all crazy but yeah I do like the way that looks so that's why I do it then I'm going in with my Milani eyeshadow primer this stuff is so good it's totally in my opinion a dupe for the Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow primer I think it does the exact same thing and my eyelids don't crease after wearing eyeshadow what anyway so I'm using a Lorac one palette the color mauve putting that on my Sigma E40 and just putting that into my crease and this will be my transition color and just blending 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 <laughs> Gonna take Cool Gray from the Lorac 2 and putting that on my outer V and my inner V. <laughs> I don't know, you'll see soon. But um, yeah, I just kinda want that. I'm going for like a cool gray look. And then uh, taking Charcoal from the Lorac 2 on a Sigma E25 and just deepening up the, that cool gray color that I put on first. Everybody, 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 everybody. 
on my finger I'm gonna take pewter from the Lorac one and place that right onto the bare area on my eyelid that I left bare for this reason I just wanted a little pop of shimmer on my eyelid and gonna take a Sigma E25 and blend out any harsh lines. Then I'm taking cool gray on this Stila brush and I'm gonna place that on my lower lash line. This brush makes blending out my lower lash line so effortless. I love it. scandalized pencil in black and if you are a contact lens wearer try this pencil it doesn't smudge on your contacts well it didn't for me I hope it doesn't for you <laughs> and then I'm going in with my liquid eyeliner from NYC in black and this stuff is like three dollars if you haven't tried it try it I hope you like it because I really do I've been using this eyeliner um, for like a really long time now and I still love it. These are the Misha Lashes by Coco Lashes and they're so pretty. I'm using the House of Lashes eyelash glue and if you haven't tried this stuff and if you have sensitive eyes, try this glue. This stuff makes wearing falsies so comfortable. You don't even know they're there. They're, it's just, I believe it's latex free so yeah, try it. You'll like it. Then I'm using this new palette that I got from IT Cosmetics. I don't know what it's called to be honest, but I will link it down below. And just bronzing my face. Now you guys know um, that I do love the bomb bronzer, but I tried something new and I think I love it. I haven't had any reaction because my skin is sensitive um, with this bronzer. So if you are in the market for a new bronzer, try this step. It, I like it. Then I'm gonna contour my nose. This brush is from Real Techniques and just contouring it to make my face look less flat. Here, just wiping off excess and with that cleaner brush, um, just blend out that line that you made to make it look really seamless. Then from the same IT Cosmetics uh, palette that I was using, take that blush, smile at yourself, and put the blush on. <laughs> this, is, this brush is from Nail Techniques and it's amazing. Then I'm going in with this highlight from the Balm. It's a Mary Lou highlighter. Duh and this stuff is super pigmented so you have to be really careful with it um, but yeah it's really easy to blend and yeah I love it
both of these colors to achieve that ox blood look. This first color, LBB, is more um, on the purple-ish side. So yeah, I didn't really want a purple color. I wanted it to be, you know, I want it to look like ox blood. So um, yeah, so first I fill in my lips with this stuff, with this color. It's really pigmented and creamy and it's comfortable to wear. So I just fill in my lips, but then I go in with Bichette from ColourPop also and I'm glad I went in with LBB first because it did deepen the look to make it a little bit more richer I suppose and yeah I really like the way that this color combo came out. So it does look... It, a lot redder but because of the blue undertone from LBB it looks dark enough. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys soon. Bye!